These are the king of the roads. And a lot are dependent on it. As a source of transportation and as a source of income. Filipinos with aspirations to get somewhere turned their war surplus jeeps into what they call jeepneys. So a lot of them have been in this industry for years. So, let's go back a bit. After World War II, there was a surplus of jeeps left by the Americans. It was primarily used by the military for transport. At that time, they were called ACs, which was short for auto calesas. These are those horse-drawn vehicles that we sometimes still see today. Eventually, the term had changed and it was referred to as a jeepney, which was derived from the words jeep and jeepney. The name wasn't the only change made. Rather, the whole thing was restructured. They added a roof and extended its capacity to accommodate more people. Then, there was Leonardo Savao mechanic and former Calesa driver. He and his brothers saw the need to produce more jeepneys. With this in mind, they had founded Sarao Motors, which is known to be the oldest and biggest jeepney manufacturing company. Eventually, they had an idea to promote their jeepneys outside of the country, wherein they brought it to different exhibits, first in New York and in London, showcasing it as the cultural and national symbol of the Philippines. So in that case, why does the government want to modify it? Jeep na naging bahagi na ng kultura is at risk of extinction. Modernong bersyon ng mga pampublikong transportasyon. From the department order last June 2017, under the section of policies and principles, it is stated that these modern jeepneys would be reliable in terms of travel time, safe, accessible for PWDs and senior citizens, as well as being environmentally sound and comfortable. These modern jeepneys run on Euro 4 engines, and these Euro 4 engines are known to emit 20% less air pollution as opposed to the previous Euro 2 engines. Based on the chart, you could see that the Philippines is one of those that have been left behind in terms of Euro engine standards, while other countries are already on Euro 5 and 6. Meanwhile, the majority of the traditional jeepneys that can still be seen on the road still rely on the outdated Euro 2 engine which has its own list of problems such as health and safety hazards. With all these benefits in mind, how much exactly would these modern jeepneys cost? The price would range from 1.4 million to 2.2 million pesos. That is 7 years to pay, meaning they are subject to debt for 7 years. As a result, jeepney drivers participated in a series of strikes while others labeled the program as anti-poor. This was the scene Monday morning due to the transport strike in Metro Manila and some provinces. By the 27th of February, another strike took place in Metro Manila, as well as over 20 cities across the country. Classes and work suspensions took place in several areas nationwide to ease the burden of commute. As President Duterte announces the entire Metro Manila lockdown, a suspension of public utility vehicles was implemented. This year, only on the months of January and February were traditional jeepneys allowed to fully operate, while on March up until June, traditional jeepneys weren't seen on the roads. But by the months of July and August, out of the 55,000 registered jeepneys in Metro Manila, only 7,945 jeepneys were allowed to operate. And on the 18th of August, an additional 4,498 were added. A total of 12,443. This is only about 23% of the total jeepneys in Metro Manila. As a result, the past few months for the jeepney drivers were difficult, having no source of income, needing drivers to beg, while the others had no choice but to turn their jeepneys into their home a place where they eat, sleep, and do their hygiene. Where do jeepney drivers go from here? Jeepney,